Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative Beginners tutorial video that will show you how you can use the conditional button and what can this device provide to you and your level design. So I already have it selected, it's in my content, but you can of course find it if you go to devices and simply search for button and it's going to be the second one. As you can see a button which can be activated in players are carrying specific items, so it's a more complex kind of element of game design that you can use and kind of allow players to ask for two or three items that will complete a particular task. So let's place the same device here. I'm going to rotate it. And let's say that it requires two cards for the players to have and once they do it will send a signal to a light device that I'm going to place right here and turn it on. So first of all let's get into the light device itself. I'm going to set the color to red, I'm going to set it to 100 so it's going to be very visible and I'm going to set it to initial state off. So this is the first step so we can see if the conditional button is working or not and now let's get into the conditional button. Now what kind of provides a lot of issues for players who first kind of get in the contact of conditional button devices is that it looks pretty complicated but we're going to kind of narrow it down to the basic elements of simply demanding two items. So under all options we're going to scroll down to this number of key item slots to two and we're going to keep the use stack options consume all items all of these are basically not that important just like the upper options of which team can activate it which class interaction time and so forth now we need to drop the items that our players need to use again we're going to enter the content and we're going to search for cards here under items or card you have several options so let's say that you need to use the black card and the green card as you can see these are already instantly taken into the same conditional button and now we just need to add these to the level so that the players can actually pick them up to do that we're going to go back into the content and add this item and this item to a chest. So I already have here several of my previous items, I'm going to add them all to the chest itself and I'm just going to pick up the ones that I need. So we're going to move the chest behind the player spawner so it's here. Now the last thing that we actually need to do is to connect the conditional button to the activation of the same light device. So again we're entering the conditional button, we're going to, for on activated send event to select device, customizable light and enable. That should be all that it takes for me to see if everything is working. So let's try it out. And here we are, we're entering the match. Let's see if everything works as it should. Here is the button. I'm going to open up my chest. Here are the cards. I'm going to pick them all up. This one is a duplicate basically, but let's see if it works. I'm going to go for interact and here it is. Here is the red light. It's all working. It's all functioning as it should. So there you go. That's how you use the conditional button. Of course, there are many more more complex options of using it, but this is kind of a simplest way to have two items that complete an action. And this is the way you apply the use of the conditional button to get it done. That's all for this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, please consider checking out my other videos, checking out my Patreon page on Patreon to see if you can support me regularly. Check out my channel membership and of course the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support my channel is to subscribe to it and have it right there among your subscribe channels so you can see my new videos once they come out. That's all for me, thanks a lot for watching, have loads of fun in your Fortnite creative adventures and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye.